Well, hello, and welcome back. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video where I went for a walk around my hometown, home city, Liverpool, and I did some urban shooting. Now, on that video, I made a number of black and white darkroom prints, and I did say I would do a giveaway for anyone who could guess the film and camera settings of one of the colour images I took with my lovely little Konica Pearl Mark III. Now, sad to say my Pearl III isn't back with me yet. I am expecting it very soon. Apparently it's been fully repaired and CLA'd. So uh, looking forward to getting out with that. Anyway, back to the actual image I shared with you. Now, this is the image here of a bit of graffiti, very nice graffiti. I mean, more of a, more of a wall art, to be honest. And I asked you what the camera uh, film was, obviously in the shutter speed settings. And yeah, full marks to you if you uh, suggested the likes of Portra 400 or Fuji 400H, because it is that sort of look. And I typically do shoot those films, but on this day, I actually decided to shoot a film I've never shot before, which is Portra 800. It gave me the extra speed. I'd heard about the, the lovely colors, the saturation, and, and I wasn't disappointed at all. I was very pleased with it. And uh, as you can see on this, this image, the, the detail levels are excellent. It, it's a very sharp film, it's a very sharp lens, of course, as well. And uh, everything came out very, very nicely. I was very, very happy with it. Um, another image here taken uh, on the same day, just to give you an idea of the sort of uh, the sort of sharpness I'm getting with this camera as well. It's only scanned with an Epson V700, so nothing special, but uh, yeah, look at that. Lovely and sharp, just detail everywhere. And a very fine grain pattern, very fine grain indeed. This is a yeah, pretty big enlargement. But unfortunately, only one of you actually got this right. Only one person guessed the correct settings as well as the film. Now, that person was Uni from Finland, a beautiful country. I've only ever visited Finland once a couple of years ago, spent some time in Helsinki, and I'd absolutely love to go back again. So it was a Portra 800 shot, F8, 1 2 50th of a second. Now, that was something I didn't expect to do on the day. I thought I'd be shooting at higher shutter speeds, but it's surprising when you get into some shaded areas just how how uh, dull it can be. And that Portra 800 gave me the extra flexibility I needed. Yes, I could have got away with Portra 400, but uh, I was keen to experiment. So again, congratulations if you had shot, uh, sorry, if you had recommended one of the uh, faster color negative films, because it's definitely that look. And that is the sort of look I will be going for with this camera. Now, just a quick update on other things as well. I will uh, hopefully be putting out more videos. We are now in a new lockdown in the United Kingdom for the next four weeks. However, uh, due to my uh, rather slow, a glacial uh, pace of delivery of videos, I do have a, a backlog. I have some which were recorded before the lockdowns in Wales and England, uh, so they can come out over the next few weeks. Got a bit of darkroom content as well. Looking forward to putting that out. Uh, and yes, um, just general, uh, you know, sort of chit chat and photography. And by the way, if you're interested in anything like uh, prints, uh, you know, if you have a certain print, you would be interested in having it made up uh, at a custom size. Just let me know and we can chat about it. Um, I do put them on my Etsy shop from time to time, but I do appreciate that they may not be the ones that people like. You may like other prints. You may want to see other images, even color ones as well. Quite happy to make color prints up to uh, sort of panoramic 36 inch wide or A2 if you're interested. So. I won't keep you any longer. Uh, thanks very much for putting all your suggestions in for the video. And I do hope you uh, come back and uh, watch the rest of my content over the coming weeks while we're uh, all stuck in, certainly in the United Kingdom. And uh, yeah, stay safe and I'll see you soon.